Super Mario Bros. Wonder was a game that we needed so bad for 2D Mario. For a while, we've been stuck in the same era of new Super Mario Bros. games. After new Super Mario Bros. DS, we got new Super Mario Bros. Wii, to move on to new Super Mario Bros. U, and then even new Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 3DS, just to go back to new Super Mario Bros. U yet again on the Nintendo Switch. It seemed as if we were stuck in this same cycle, in the same art style, in the same genre forever. This was 2D Mario, and it looked like nothing was ever gonna change. Everyone was complaining that it was getting too bland, and that we needed something new, something that would actually shake up 2D Mario for good, and finally, after many years, comes along Super Mario Bros. Wonder. A Super Mario Bros. title that finally drops the new shtick that they've been going with for the past decade. In the past, Mario Bros. used to greatly evolve every new generation of consoles. I mean, the original Mario Bros. to Mario Bros. 2 was a huge jump, Mario Bros. 3 coming after Mario Bros. 2 was yet again another big one, and let's face it, Super Mario World became one of the greatest Nintendo games of all time, and became a huge success after Mario Bros. 3, a completely different style of Mario Bros. game. So it took from New Super Mario Bros. DS from 2006 all the way to 2023 where Super Mario Bros. Wonder did release until they finally changed the formula. That is 17 years of the same 2D Mario formula, so man were we overdue. And man was Super Mario Bros. Wonder the change that we needed. We had a completely new art style with tons of playable characters and different voice lines and tons of wacky events that would happen in every single stage, crazy new locations and a crazy brand new flower kingdom that they made simply for this 2D Mario game. They completely went out of their way to make sure that this is something new and fresh that we have been waiting for for these past 17 years, and man was it a hit. In the first just two weeks of its release, it sold 4.3 million units, so I can say it's doing pretty well. But with all the absolutely insane ideas this game was able to get away with, there is still so much more I would love to see. It kind of gave me the same feeling that Super Mario Odyssey gave me. I wanted more. After playing around with the capture mechanic, it was so cool to transform into all of these Mario enemies throughout the series, so after completing the game, my mind instantly flooded with ideas of DLC kingdoms or captures or maybe even a sequel that we would eventually... N no, we, we, ne we never did get a sequel. To me, Super Mario Bros. Wonder felt almost like a 2D version of Super Mario Odyssey, where you could even transform into things like they were captures. We could transform into objects and enemies, or maybe even the ground transform, or the stage itself. There were so many wacky things, and it was crazy that there was a Wonder Flower and a Wonder Event in every single stage in the entire game. So naturally, once again, I can't help but to think of the future of Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Could we eventually see a sequel, Mario Wonder 2, or are they going to go down a similar path with the same art style? What's going to happen? Well, that's what I'm here to talk about today. Real quick, before we dive into the likelihood of if this could happen or not, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. A lot of you watching this video right now are not yet subscribed, and last week you guys absolutely tore it up. So let's start this week off with an absolute banger. Let's see how many people we can get to like and subscribe from this one single video. It'll only take you a quick second, but thank you so much for tuning in. Let's dive in to Super Mario Bros. Wonder 2. So how actually likely is this before we start talking about what this could actually include? Well, we gotta look back at what Nintendo has done in the past, and they've actually been in situations like this a lot of times. For instance, they have had lots of ideas that had run over from the original development of the game, and that they couldn't include in just a DLC because there were so many ideas, so they decided to make a second game. Mario Galaxy actually did this with so many ideas on the table, they decided to make Mario Galaxy 2. And we've seen the same thing with something like Breath of the Wild, where they had so many ideas ideas that it even extended far beyond DLC, they decided to go with Tears of the Kingdom, a sequel directly related to Breath of the Wild. I guess the first question is, well, why didn't Super Mario Odyssey get a sequel? And it looks like it probably won't, based on the rumors saying that we're gonna get a brand new open world 3D Mario game that's not related to Odyssey. I mean, it's also been seven years, so I think it's safe to say that Odyssey 2 is completely off the table. Well, maybe it's because Nintendo felt like they didn't have much else that they wanted to offer with a sequel, which to me sounds absolutely insane insane considering the fact that there's so many other enemies and random objects that they could have Mario turn into and maybe even add some multiplayer. And maybe it came down to more of the levels and the world considering the fact that technically we went around the entire globe so they would have to find new areas for us to explore, maybe a different planet or something. Um, but maybe they could have just reused more areas that we've seen on the map. Lots of the kingdoms that we visited we only saw a small part so they could have extended the kingdoms and showed us different parts, maybe more of the ruined kingdom or an official 
Cloud Kingdom that showed more of a castle and stuff, but I don't know. Whatever the reason was, Nintendo just didn't want to go with an Odyssey 2. And honestly, you could make an argument that every single game could have a sequel. There's so many ideas for every single title that Nintendo releases, and you could say each of them could deserve a sequel if you really expanded on those ideas. So it's really just up to Nintendo if they feel like those ideas are worth the sequel or not. Now the devs were actually asked about the future of 2D Mario, and will it always be Wonder now? And they never did confirm or deny if we'd see a Wonder 2. They made it seem like probably not. It doesn't seem likely, but obviously that's something that they're going to say when they're kind of being pressed with the question at the time. Because here's the thing. New Super Mario Brothers lasted a very long time, and that little word new actually holds more weight than you think, because it actually showed that this is exactly the type of 2D Mario game that we would get for many years to follow. But if you notice with Super Mario Brothers Wonder, Wonder is the suffix of Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers kind of just stays the same with its logo. There's no additional change to it, it doesn't have additional names to it, there's no new or old or any type of plus with new Super Mario Brothers, it's just Super Mario Brothers. So perhaps Super Mario Brothers Wonder is just a new style of Super Mario Brothers, and the next game will just be called Super Mario Brothers something else, and it actually will be a lot different than Super Mario Brothers Wonder. That's always the case, and that definitely could be what Nintendo decides to do, but they have a chance right now to create a new subsection of Super Mario Brothers games, the same way they did with the whole new moniker. They could actually make a Super Mario Bros. Wonder series, maybe including three or four games that kind of follow the same art style and the same gameplay formula. I don't know, it would kind of suck if Super Mario Bros. Wonder was it, and we didn't see that art style return again. Now, like I said, that art style could be used for another type of Super Mario Bros. game completely. It definitely could. But I would love to see a Wonder sequel where it keeps that art style and some of those fun characters and enemies. I think that would be a really good idea. And the Wonder Flowers is what really makes the game stand out, because having all these crazy Wonder effects completely changes how the game works. Every single level has something wacky going on, and this is something that you can continue to build off of series after series after series, because it's just such a crazy idea, it lets the devs do whatever they want. I mean seriously, there's no limits to what the Wonder Event can do, it can make you run on the back wall, it can transform you into an enemy character. Shoot, it can make you move slower or run faster. There's so many other ideas I feel like they haven't even scratched the surface of. Well, let's say Nintendo does decide to pull the trigger. How would Super Mario Bros. Wonder look and what would it be like? Well, we already used the Flower Kingdom and I feel like we've seen the entire map and every single nook and cranny of that kingdom, so it would have to be somewhere else. Even though it is Wonder, I feel like they could still bring the Wonder Flowers to another world. Maybe it takes us to another neighboring kingdom where all the Wonder Flowers get poured into that kingdom kingdom from the flower kingdom or maybe all the flowers actually get taken into the mushroom kingdom and it takes us through areas that look familiar like from the new super mario brothers series but obviously with wonder the art style and everything is going to look a lot different but now you have wonder flowers that changes different areas from the mushroom kingdom so there's definitely places that they can go by just taking the wonder flowers with them and i think that would definitely work or maybe with this new kingdom it's not even a wonder flower anymore but it's just a powerful thing that does kind of the same thing as the wonder flower it's a wonder fruit or a wonder vegetable or something. I don't know, but it does the same effect by changing the stage or changing your character, which would still kind of ultimately be Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Now, I do think they should just stay with the Wonder Flower because that would be doing a lot. That's like now every kingdom has some type of wonderful device that transforms the world and enemies around them. So yeah, that would be a little bit weird and would be taking away from the Flower Kingdom. So yeah, maybe just having these flowers get stolen by Bowser or something or a whole bunch of them kind of pour into a neighboring kingdom would be the best option. And as far as where we go from here, well, the same thing. Super Mario Bros. Wonder was so good because each level felt a lot different than the last. And with all those wonder flowers and wonder effects, it changed each level significantly from the last. So let's just have more. I don't think there's really much else to talk about there. You know, yes, just more wonder flowers, more wonder events, more worlds to explore. And that's really about it. Everything else could be just some fun little additions if they want to add some new items, for instance. Maybe instead of Elephant Mario, you got like Giraffe Mario or Rhino Mario, just something slightly different. And I feel like you're good to go. Add a couple more items and stuff, like you have the Drill Mushroom and also the Bubble Flower, then you'll be pretty much good to go. I think the only addition that you'd really need to take time to work on for this new sequel would be to 
to make the boss battles a lot better because the boss battles in Super Mario Brothers Wonder is all Bowser Jr. So they definitely need to fix that for the sequel. Please just have some original boss battles that deal with the wonder effects. I just think it was written there for that to happen and somehow Nintendo missed that point. But that's like one of the only problems I think I had with the entire game. Maybe make it a little bit harder for its baseline game and not just for the post game content and then I think you're good to go with a sequel. Mario Wonder definitely set a new precedent for 2D Mario. It showed that we are finally done with the 17 years of new Super Mario Brothers that we've been sitting through with the same bland gameplay and worlds and characters and finally upgraded it to the maximum. These characters in Super Mario Bros. Wonder are more alive than ever. With fun locations and power-ups and also the wacky wonder effects, Super Mario Bros. Wonder is more than just a new step in the right direction for 2D Mario. It's an evolutionary step, and I think it's going to show with the future of Mario, whether it is another Mario Wonder or something else entirely different, but I am so excited to see what Nintendo comes up with, and let me know in the comments down below what you would love to see in a Super Mario Bros. Wonder 2. Definitely comment your ideas, and I'm so excited to see what you guys come up with. But thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you head out. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.